The day has finally come boys. Today we are officially rear wheel drive swapping my STI. Now, ever since I got this car, I have been throwing non-stop hints that this thing is going to be rear wheel drive. And some of you guys caught it, some of you guys didn't. Well, for those of you who didn't, well, it's going rear wheel drive. To convert these cars to rear wheel drive is actually a lot easier than you would expect. All you need is this little doohickey right over here. This is a rear wheel drive conversion spool specifically made for the STI. Actually, it's specific for this year of STI. I believe that different years of STIs have different transmissions. Slightly different well this is specifically made for this generation of STI with the DCCD and all that good stuff it's gonna be a lot easier explaining what this is and what it does when the car is actually on the lift and I can show you guys where it goes into but essentially all this does is it doesn't allow any power to be sent to the front wheels and it allows all the power to be sent to the rear wheel Here is some proof that the car is currently all wheel drive. Front wheels are moving, the rear wheels are moving. This is just some proof that the car is currently all wheel drive. Enjoy this, cause this is the last time we're gonna see the front wheels spinning. Rest in peace, the all wheel drive, baby. All right, let's turn this off. <laughs> All right, so just to get started, we need to take a lot off. So we need access to the back of the transmission. Right here is the transmission. We need access to the back of it right over here. In order to get access, we need to take pretty much everything off. So we need to remove the downpipe. We need to remove the cap back. Then we need to remove the shield take off the drive shaft, undo these support bolts, and then we have access to the back of the transmission. It's definitely a lot to remove just to get to the back of the transmission, but it'll be well worth it. So time to take all this junk off. Now it's time to start taking off all the shields so we have access to the transmission. Looks like there's just a bunch of 12 mils holding it up. Once we get the shield off, then we have access to the drive shaft. You guys can kind of see it peeking back over there. Oh, oh I just got caked in dirt. Oh God, all right, well, let me go to the side a little bit. Now we have full visible access to what we need to get out. So looking at how the drive shaft kind of sits right now, I think it might be easier to just take out the entire drive shaft. I think it might just be easier to disconnect it from right here. So the entire drive shaft is just gonna drop down once we take out the support and disconnect all these bolts. There we go. That's out now. Oh, this is heavy now. I just got done taking out the world's heaviest drive shafts. Apparently this weighs like 300 pounds. I don't know if I'm just weak, but this thing weighs a lot. <laughs> I wasn't expecting for it to weigh that much, but drive shaft is now, oh, you guys can't see nothing. Let's right there, you guys see it? All right, there we go. Drive shaft is now out. I uh, spilled a little spilled a little trans fluid because I forgot the trans fluid was gonna come out. Once I drain out the transmission of all the fluids, then it's time to start taking all this stuff apart and it's time to put the spool in. All right, let's try to do this without making a mess today. Oh, oh sh that's close. Oh my God, that was so close to the edge. Side note, this fluid is actually super clear. That almost ended absolutely terrible. And we lost the bolt. <laughs> All right, a little warning. This is extremely sketch, but I'm just trying to make do with what I have. So I don't have a transmission jack or something that can hold the transmission up like that high. The highest transmission jack I have is like two feet off the ground. And if we were doing this on the ground, I could just use a floor jack, but I'm not doing it on the ground. I'm doing it on the lift. So the only thing I have that I can use is an engine crane. So I'm holding up the transmission with an engine crane. Got a little block of wood in there just for protection. So we're using this to hold up the transmission. I'm undoing all the cross members. Basically whatever's holding the transmission to the car because I need the back of the transmission to kind of dip down a little bit so that I can do all the work to it. So I'm looking at the transmission dead on. This is where the drive shaft goes into. So to get access to the center diff, which what we gotta take out and replace with that spool, uh, we have to take off this casing. So there's a bunch of 14 mils. So we're gonna go around, take all this casing off. We gotta undo these shifter linkages. And uh, from what I've read online, these are a pain in the butt. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to kind of like learn while I'm under here how to take everything off. And then once I learn, I can kind of explain it to you guys. But uh, this looks easy. This looks like just a bolt. You undo this bolt, this will come right off. And then there's a 
a little bracket holding this in. I'm guessing this is something to do with the shifter. Pretty much everything that's attached to this back casing has to come off. So this bracket has to come off. This bracket has to come off. We gotta get all these 14s off so this whole back piece kind of just comes out. There's definitely still some fluid in here so have something ready because uh, if you don't, you're just gonna make a mess like, like we just did over there. <laughs> We're starting to get into like the really annoying part because everything is just so tight and like look at this look at this bolt dude i'm trying to take this bolt out but it's just there's just a bunch of things that we have to remove and there's a really tight space and things don't really move the most annoying thing is like this little thing right over here so it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to show you guys exactly but this thing right over here these are two different pins now apparently you're supposed to use like a quarter inch punch and punch it out i don't have a punch tool and i don't really feel like going anywhere so i'm using this little torx allen bit this just pretty much fits right in there so i'm gonna put this here i'm gonna hit it with a mallet and hopefully that punches it out take me about 45 minutes like I really don't want to make it seem like it's not that hard because that was the most difficult thing I ran into so far so taking these two pins out I read online that these were gonna be a pain in the butt and trust me they were I used a Torx Allen for this first one and then for the second one I absolutely just couldn't use anything except for this screwdriver. I got really lucky this screwdriver perfectly matches the pin, so I was able to stick the screwdriver in there, use a hammer, and then just pop it out, but it took a very long time because I had a bunch of trial and errors. I tried using a Torx Allen, it didn't work, then I tried using a bolt, and then the bolt got stuck in there. I had to heat the crap out of it and then just yank the bolt out. It literally took me about 45 minutes to get both those pins out, so it's definitely a pain in the butt, but I got the two pins out, so this shifter should pop out. I'm gonna put the camera down, pop this out, and then I can start taking, I can finally start taking this casing off. took a lot longer than I was expecting. So here's the back half of the case that we were trying to pry out for the longest time. It is finally out and here is what it looks like inside. And here comes out the center diff. Ooh, just like that baby. This thing is actually kind of heavy. <laughs> so here is the center diff and this is also the DCCDs. In STI specifically, you have the option to send more power to the front wheels or more power to the rear. Now it's not ever rear wheel drive. There's always some power going to the front. I believe the split is like 60-40 or something like that. I'm not quite sure. If somebody knows, just correct me in the comments. But basically, this is the little module. This is the little doohickey that does all that. And this is being replaced by this little spool right over here. This difference is insane. <laughs> look at look at that, dude. Before, after. <laughs> so all this is just being deleted, and this is just gonna go in place of this. It's so weird to think like this is what's going on inside the car all the time. So basically, this is just a this is just a rear wheel drive spool. So it only sends power to the rear wheels. It doesn't allow any power to be sent to the front wheels. This is the thing that like is the all wheel drive system basically. So we're deleting this. This whole gigantic mess of a monster is getting deleted. And oh, this is heavy. And in turn, we're just putting this in. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's a big difference. <laughs> right? So th this is kind of, it's all getting deleted. It's just this spool's going in. And uh, I cleaned everything up. I cleaned that with brake clean, cleaned it up. And then I cleaned this with brake clean as well. Cleaned this up big time. So you know, this thing just kind of goes on like, Oh, the other way actually. It just goes on like, whoop, like that. Oh. This is how it works. So like this power gets sent in through the transmission through here. This spins this, and then this spins the drive shaft. 
That's cool. That's how that's how the car works. Like that's how it works. It's so cool. Like I love I love opening things up and just seeing things like this. Like I don't know I don't know if it's kind of dorky or not, but like I love seeing how things work. Now it's time to put everything back together. Hurry up because I will, it's getting towards the end of the day. We're running out of sunlight. We're definitely not gonna finish while there's still sunlight out, but I wanna at least have it rear wheel drive, like officially rear wheel drive today. So let me go hurry up, literally do everything that we just did, but backwards. I made a scrape in the gasket over there and I am working on the gasket over here. You wanna make sure you scrape all, all the excess gasket, even if it looks like there's none. I mean like, you guys can see over here, it's pretty much nothing, but I'm still scraping that off. You wanna just make sure it's a nice, clean, flat meeting surface so that the gasket can stick. That way, you don't have any leaks. I'm trying not to mess with the bearings that's on there. There we go. That just goes in like that. That's it? <laughs> that's it. That's, it's literally like, you would have, you should have seen it before. It was like a gigantic mass. Really? You know what I mean? It was like, it was taking up the entire dip. That's it. That's the dump spool. It. It's just a spool. So now we don't have, now we're, I mean, I guess you can say we're rear wheel drive. Let's go. Actually, we're all no wheel drive because there's no drive shaft in there. <laughs> but you can technically, technically now we are officially Rear wheel drive because we don't have anything to make it front wheel drive. Wow. So that's pretty awesome. That's pretty Look sick. Look at you. Hell yeah, dude. So now we can put the back case back on. We're gonna put some gasket maker, put the back case back on. We're doing good. Let's so go. We should have the car rolling sick. hopefully by the time. <laughs> oh, did you read it? <laughs> I called it. We were gonna run out of sunlight. It is 10:30, basically at night right now. It is completely dark, and uh, I think that we are done with the rear-wheel drive swap. I think. One thing I did want to note is that when I was putting everything back together, what I noticed is that it looked like I have an exhaust leak, and I still think there's an exhaust leak because there's a gap. And I tightened the bolts as tight as they will go, but. For some reason, on the top and on the bottom, there's still like a little gap, and I tried blowing in there, air is going through, so I have to figure out something about that. I wonder how long I've actually had the exhaust leak for. I definitely wanna fix that because, uh, you know, it's kinda of messing with the whole sound and everything. I filled up the transmission with some fluid. I also changed out the rear diff fluid because, you know, we're gonna be doing some skids, and uh, we wanna have some nice fluid. The fluid that was in the trans was actually relatively clean, but the fluid that was in the diff looked like it hadn't been changed in like forever. We changed it all out. It has some nice, fresh fluids. It is finally time to add actually put the car down, turn it on, and see if it's actually rear wheel drive or not. I'm actually nervous, like what if the, yeah, fingers crossed, but like what if the front wheels still spin? I'm gonna be so mad, I just wasted the entire day. Yeah, it'd be really weird. I'm gonna put the car down and start it, and hopefully, fingers crossed, only the rear wheel spin, not the front. We don't want no front wheel spinning, no more all wheel drive, only rear wheel drive. All right, here, hold the camera. All right. I'm actually like nervous because like what if the rear wheels don't even spin? What if like we mess something up and like what if, because I don't know what I was doing. Like I'll be honest, like I was kind of winging it. I was half winging it, half reading a forum online and like, I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Oh baby, let's go. <laughs> They're spinning. <laughs> Let's go! It worked! It's rear wheel drive. Nice! 
boys can hear it or not, listen. Oh, you can hear it bad. You can hear it real bad. Oh, I don't like it. But that's so crazy. Oh, I hear it. The rear wheels are spinning and not the front. Yo, I can't. I, SDI is rear wheel drive. That is. Oh my god. I'm hyped at a speech, but I don't know what to say, but like, all I can say is we're rear wheel drive. Like, it worked. It worked. The spool worked. This whole thing worked. Just a, just a rear wheel drive STI. the difference like you feel the power pushing you rather than like it pulling you you know what I mean All right, let's just go. get it you'll I, I, let's see I mean we're not gonna be able to like go fast or anything right now but like maybe we'll be able to like tell something you know I don't know if we'll be able to tell the difference right off the bat I feel it hey, shut up <laughs> <laughs> alright you know what I can't it's actually not a good like test here because we're kind of like in our shop development and I don't want to piss off our neighbors. So let's not like rip it here. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a rear wheel drive Subaru WRX STI. It's crazy to say, I ordered this rear wheel drive spool, I think the first week that I got the car. And I have not put it on until today. Like it's been a while since I've had this car and I finally put it on today. To be honest, I wasn't even ready to put it on today and Amanda just pushed me to do it. So I said, screw it. I'm gonna go ahead and make the car rear wheel drive. And this was the one of the biggest, I would say, transformations in the car. I like to have fun in cars and I want to slide this thing really badly, but right now it's only on the cob tune. And when I was ripping it around in the cob tune, a lot of you guys were concerned. You guys were like, yo, chill out. Do not beat on your car because you're going to blow up your motor. And you guys are right. I don't want to blow up my motor. So I pretty much haven't driven this car. This car's just been like sitting around either at the shop or at my house. So this thing hasn't been driven. I'm patiently waiting for tune day, but before tune day, I should be getting my base map and I'm waiting on my base map right now. So when we do get my base map, I'll be able to at least beat on the car just a tad bit. Once we get the base map and you guys bet your ass that I am gonna do a fat burnout on these little stock wheels we gotta we gotta get rid of these stock tires you know what I mean I can't wait to see it <laughs> it's gonna be a burnout in the STI dude I gotta get the booty looking right first the booty looking kind of weak right now we gotta definitely fix it up a little bit but I think a little like burnout like a little victory burnout like it's gonna be pretty sick and uh, you know what I mean the fact that it's just a rear wheel drive STI like that's just crazy like how many rear wheel drive STIs do you know None. I know not a single I know a None. rear wheel drive WRX but no STI so that is pretty cool in my opinion like I said I already know this is gonna trigger some people and some people aren't gonna like it and some people are gonna like it all I gotta say is that you can't hate on a rear wheel drive like they're a ton of fun like even if you don't want to go fast if you don't want to go fast in a straight line rear wheel drives are fun just to slide around and that is exactly what we are gonna be doing with this thing I'm super happy that we got this out of the way now it's out of the way and I just have to wait for the base map until I start beating on the car and trust me you guys will see us enjoying the rear wheel drive a lot and I hope this video kind of helps you guys out if you guys want a rear wheel drive swap your STIs or WRX's and I'm not sure if it's just with regular Subarus like I'm not sure if you can do this with a Forester or not But I'm sure you could I hope this video kind of helped you guys out It wasn't as hard as it seems the hardest thing was just taking that little annoying pin out once that pin was out Everything else was pretty much it was pretty easy. It's really not all that hard So if you guys want to do it, I would definitely encourage you guys doing it I don't know the long-term effects of it just yet So if you guys do want to stay tuned for the long-term effects definitely stay tuned with the upcoming videos And if anything happens or if anything goes wrong I will definitely let you guys know as you guys can see we have a lot of cleaning up to do so as always we will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out